Hi folks, it's Bill Pitcher from the Empire Building Network with a top 10 wish list of the features that I would like to see in the Arendelle update to Empire Avenue. Now, I don't know exactly the way uh, they work the release system. We know the last release was called Dublin and we saw features kind of get rolled out over a one to two week period. But we also see uh, changes in game mechanics and uh, minor features like uh, the change to the uh, randomization of the ticker stream across the top kind of get um, rolled out in between releases. So I think what they try to do is they have a number of major things that they do all at one time. And in a conversation that I had with Aaron White, he mentioned that sometimes there's a bit of a theme to the release that they have specific objectives with, with each one. So uh, we know some things uh, we've heard them talk about that are coming, uh, and some of those items are, are on this uh, list of mine that I, uh, I, I want to see. Some other items that I have here uh, may or may not be included. It's, it's my wish list. And tonight I'm going to talk about uh, part one, and uh, I call those the easy five. So without further ado, we'll get down to it. And number 10 on my list is that I would like to see more biographical information. Um, and what by this I mean the ability to fill in more information, sort of more fields um, that uh, give you an opportunity to tell more about yourself. And we see this even in sites like Facebook and LinkedIn uh, where there is that information. And I I'd like to see that for two different reasons. One is that I'd like to see some searchable fields. So as you go looking for particular kinds of people, whether it's you're interested in people in, in your age uh, range or uh, that um, uh, may have, uh, you know, just by where they're from or you know where they work or something like that that you would have things in common with so search is the one aspect but the other aspect is is that I, I would like to have a more presentable form uh, of a way to um, share information about who I am to encourage people to in, invest in me and uh, you know, there is a bio there now. It's uh, pretty, you know, it's just a f one sort of free form uh, area in addition to your, you know, what your city is and, and your photo. And uh, a lot of that information is hidden. And I, I mean, I have no sense on how many people actually go read all that information. But it really, the way it's set up right now does not encourage uh, providing uh, a lot of detail. So I would like to see more biographical information. Number nine is that I would like to see uh, more leaderboard lists, uh, more more information in that regard. Uh, there's a number of different categories. They are, uh, in the last Dublin release, they uh, started providing connection score information. And I would love to see leaderboards for that those connection scores so that you can see who's got the best uh, Flickr score, for example. And, and if for no other reason, just to go look at their content. I mean, yes, it can also be used for investing decisions, um, and it creates an incentive for people to work on their scores. Uh, but I think that content discovery and doing things that sort of showcase, you know, who has uh, sort of the most active Facebook in the in the largest community, who's the you know the big uh, Twitter people um, would be uh, an interesting addition and and I, I'm really hoping in this uh, Arendelle update that uh, content discovery is an important part of uh, of what the uh, what the Empire Avenue team does and I think that uh, leaderboard information focused on content uh, would be a good aspect to it so number eight is uh, I'd like to see the ability to filter um, somebody's stream. When you're on somebody's profile, you can see their headline stream, and you can filter it a number of different ways. You can filter it by their blog entries, by their Twitter stream, and there's a, a, a filter for Empire Avenue, and that will show you uh, their status updates and if they've uh, included a shout-out. What it does not show you 
uh, are their, their, their trades that they have done. You have to go back manually and scroll through the list to find, find trades. And there are two uh, reasons that I wish that trades were either included in the filter or available as a separate filter. And the first reason is that um, if uh, you are away from the computer for several hours and somebody's been active, say, on Twitter, and they um, they made a purchase of you uh, of your shares and you want to thank them, you can do it as a general shout out at the top, but if you wanted to include it actually where they purchased the shares, uh, you have to scroll through a lot of things to find it and you can't use the, the Empire Avenue filter um, for the trades. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that I like to see um, when somebody was most recently active, not just in general, like, you know, oh, they tweeted five minutes ago, but when were they actually active on the site? And I include in that not just shoutouts that they've done, but when, when were they last uh, buying shares? And so I would, I would like the ability to, to very quickly look at that as opposed to having to scroll through sometimes pages of Twitter and Facebook updates just to find their, their most recent uh, trade. So number eight was uh, streaming uh, filter um, showing trades. Number seven is uh, I'd like to see a uh, notification system uh, with options to have it on or off uh, by community for communities. So some communities are very active and you would not want to receive an update every time there was a message posted to it. But other communities are fairly quiet. And I believe that one of the reasons that they're quiet is that when somebody posts something new in there, you don't know that something new has been posted in there, so you don't know to go look. And so I would really love it if there was a way to receive a notification that so-and-so has just posted to, you know, the ABC community, and, and then off you could go, and I think that that would really enliven the conversation in communities. We know that um, improvements uh, to communities have been talked about. I have no idea what's planned for, for Arendelle. So number seven was notification uh, options for communities. Number six is uh, I'd like to see new services added. And we know new services are coming, and uh, the Empire Avenue team has talked about that new services will be connected, and you'll have the op option to connect uh, other social media services to Empire Avenue. And, uh, you know, I've given a lot of thought as to what services I would like to see connected. And I, I have to say that I would place a priority, but this is my bias. I tend to be a content creator. Um, I would like to see services where I am creating content. So um, uh, I'm okay with LinkedIn. I don't think that I create a lot of content in LinkedIn, but it's definitely a network and I can see it and it's my information, my bio, uh, my status updates. So it's a lot like Facebook for, you know, the professional crowd. I think <laughs> that it would be, I'd have to be very selective. I really do use LinkedIn for work, and I'd have to be very selective in how I used it for um, uh, Empire Avenue. And there would be some people that would maybe don't use it for professional reasons, that all of a sudden it would just become another Empire Avenue community for them. I would be looking for people where I see real business opportunities. So I see that as a unique challenge for me, but one that I welcome because I, I really do want to start creating sort of more outside the Empire Avenue opportunities um, using Empire Avenue. I would also love to see, as I sit here uh, creating a video, a uh, YouTube um, uh, tie-in. And uh, I think that uh, there's some absolutely great video content out there being created, and I would love to see um, it uh, connected to Empire Avenue. I just hope that somehow uh, we we don't get into a situation where people start uploading, um, you know, things they've recorded off of television and that just to create activity. I guess that's always going to be a problem and is an, and is an issue right now with blogs and probably part of the reason that, that blog connection scores don't show. So I recognize there's some challenges with... Uh, 
um, connecting a site like YouTube, but I think for those people creating original content, again, I hope this has a content theme to it and that we get to discover more great content uh, from other Empire Avenue members. Um, uh, I know the uh, team has also talked about connecting Facebook pages. So these are fan pages and business pages and community pages um, that uh, are not uh, your direct profile, but so for example, um, if you create a, a fan page for Facebook, um, that the activity that you have on there and the number of fans that you have uh, or the number of people that have liked it um, would be part of your network, I think. Um, not that I see a, uh, a strong sort of personal reason uh, to have that connected, but I think that that would really help uh, continue to spread the, uh, the Empire Avenue uh, message and to uh, really engage a lot of people that are probably passionate about certain things and, and, and have, uh, whether it's an anime uh, fan page, um, you know, uh, maybe it's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan page, whatever. I, I think that it would uh, really help reach out to those people. Um, now, there's a couple of other services. Uh, I think Foursquare has been talked about. I think that um, Last FM has been talked about. And I scratch my head about these a little bit more. Not that uh, I'm not sure how they would work in the context of Empire Avenue, but they are not um, uh, directly content creating. Currently, you can have a service like Last FM. You can set it up as a feed. Um, and uh, I, I need other people to tell me. I, I won't sort of dismiss them. There may be very social opportunities there and opportunities to build a network through those services. I haven't explored that, and I don't have a group of friends using Facebook. And uh, sorry, my apologies. I don't have a group of friends using Foursquare, and uh, I know that some people really do. They follow their friends and, and have strong networks. So I can see how it's definitely social media. Um, it's very different from my focus of, of content creation. But I am competitive enough that um, might actually get up, get me out, uh, get me out more if uh, if all of a sudden there was more incentive to be checking in places in Foursquare. Anyway, that's about it. That's my uh, first five of my top ten wish list for the Arendelle uh, release. And uh, I'll keep you in suspense for another day or so about uh, what my top five are. In the meantime, I welcome uh, your suggestions on uh, what your wish list is. And I have to tell you, I am sure that there is something. I've already written out my full ten, and, but I am sure that I forgot something that I would absolutely love to see in the next release. So I uh, welcome you to, uh, to share your comments. Thanks a lot, and happy empire building.